Bandai Namco Entertainment. Bandai Namco Entertainment. Why do you even waste your fucking money to making this piece of shit Tekken 8? This game will be dead on rival. The franchise is dead. The past Tekken is already dead, irrelevant, and not worth talking about it. The only people that are will be hyping this game up and defending this piece of shit shovelware dead on arrival games are the Tekken 8 fanboys, the Tekken franchise fanboys, the Tekken sexuals, the Japanese uh, weeaboo fanboys living in America living in their mom's basement. They'll be defending this piece of shit game thinking that this game is this game plays amazing. No it's not. It's the same as Tekken 7 and the past Tekken games. There's nothing new about this, and you got these Tekken fanboys saying that they're going to be different gameplays and different combos, but at the same time, it feels like you're playing the past Tekken games. That's pretty much it. There is no slight significance in, of the gameplay new in Tekken 8. It's just a copy and paste and disguise, and it's going to be quantity over quality type game. This is an easy cash grab for Bandai Namco, Namco Entertainment. I'm serious. It's going to be the same tactics as Pac-Man World Repack. And by the way, and these fanboys are going to be defending how many of these copies of the Tekken franchise has been sold. They'd be like millions of sold, 5 millions, 10 millions. Oh, that's amazing. That's a lot of people that are into this game. But at the same time, you should remember that they're the one, they're the people who works at Best Buy, Target, Walmart, GameStop, Game whatever whatever something besides GameStop the game store the video game stores they buy a shit little copies of this and not only that the Amazon the Amazon um, people with their accounts and eBay people making their accounts those are the eBay people that buy a shit little Tekken copies a day after Tekken 8 will be released going to go back to those game stores video game store t Target Best Buy anywhere else that sells video games Look at the copy of Tekken 8. There's a lot of them in the shelves. Nobody's talking about this game anymore. It's a dead on arrival. And let me tell you why this game is going to be dead on arrival and why it will suck. Like I told you, it will be the exact same gameplay as the past Tekken games. You're playing like whatever 20, 2017 year old game, maybe 2005 year old game. This is game that's catered towards the nostalgic tart, possibly a nostalgic tart game. <coughs> The graphics is just like the. Um, wait, let me see the graphics. Oh, hold on. Come on. Look at this. The graphics is nowhere near as 4K. Let me see. Am I playing this on. Oh, look at it. I'm playing this on 1440p. But look. There will be frame drops in this. I, I think on the Xbox Series X and PS5, it's less. But seriously, this graphics is nowhere near f 4K or 1440p. This feels like you're playing like a fucking... Hmm, like a Nintendo Wii U graphics in this game. It feels like it, dude. It feels like you're experiencing a... Tw uh, it's 2023, so I have to say is... Um, the Wii... When did the Wii U release... Or if, uh, 2012. It feels like you're playing a 2012 type game. I'm telling you, it's gonna feel old already in seconds, dude. Feels like you're stuck in the time past. And and for the characters, okay, let me tell you about this. Since you dumb fucks are gonna be falling for this shit, dude. Why do you guys defend Tekken 8 when these fucking developers are are just gonna make Tekken 8 incomplete? piece of fucking shovel work game and you realize they're going to be doing some cash grabbing tactics greed tactics yes greed fucking tactics so you're going to see all these characters right here all right good but at the same i i, I think this is official i i guess this is official since it hasn't been confirmed by bandai namco or maybe it is confirmed by bandai namco but seriously You'll see these characters right there, and then later, in a couple of months or years, they're going to be locking up with some new DLC characters. They're going to be fucking come shooting all, all the, come shooting all these fucking DLC characters, and you have to pay like 5 or $10 to get a DLC character, and they're going to be spamming season passes, ripping off, I guess they're going to rip off Fortnite with the battle pass type shit. They're going to be ripping off a lot of shit, dude. 
and they're going to be locking up characters and you have no choice but to pay them pay Bantai Namco your money to get the shit that you wanted I'm serious this is this is greed tactics and you guys are falling for this shit and you got these Tekken fanboys and these Japanese uh weeaboo sexuals that defending this game saying that okay you can buy this hey you don't so don't buy anything from the from the store don't buy shit out of it don't buy don't support my transaction in this fucking game just play the fucking game and that's it why are you fucking bitching about it? And let me tell you this. You buy the game, you giving what the developers, you are supporting the what the developers are giving you. You are supporting the micro chance action in disguise. Even though you do not support it, but you support the developers um content they are throwing in the game. You support microtransaction. Admit it. If all you guys do not buy Tekken 8, this shows, this lets you know that we don't want this type of content in Tekken 8. And you'll probably you won't see millions of sold. Maybe you'll see 900 million, uh, 900 thousand copies sold. Easy as that. But instead, you idiots just fucking buy this game. Why? And plus, you're going to be wasting your time buying these these giant fucking arcade controllers. And you guys are going to go fucking try hard mode. And what is the other word? The other word? Um, um, try hard. Go sweat mode. Like sweaty. Like these sweaty fighters. And imagine playing this all fucking day. And what do you get out of this fucking game? Nothing. You just get, you just get wins or, or loses. And that's pretty much it. And imagine having to throw your life away just to play Tekken 8. There is nothing you will get in return for Tekken 8. Nothing rewarding in return. This game will be the waste of your fucking time. Anyone who plans to buy this piece of shit Tekken 8, you are a complete idiot. And you will one day soon realize that Tekken 8 is fucking dead. Unless you're a, unless you're a Tekken sexual, it will be hard to overcome this type of addiction. Addic addicting to these type of games is not good for your head. It rottens your damn mind. I'm serious. And mark my words, Tekken 8 will be dead on arrival. And by the way, and you got these people that are hyping this shit up. Let me, let me, where is it at? Oh yeah, right here. Look at you got all these fucking clickbaiters. <clears throat> at least, at least there's not a lot of people are doing reaction videos. But look at this. With their mouths wide open, and then this dude only got fucking 400 views. Fucking dead ass channel, dude. Nobody cares about fucking Tekken, Tekken anymore. If they have low views, it shows that it's fucking dead. I don't know about the one in Japan because I know Japan has a lot of viewership. But look at this. Look at all these fucking clickbaiters. It's fucking sad. I'm telling you, you're gonna. You're gonna listen to me in this video, but I guess you're not gonna listen to me in this video because you're a Tekken sexual. You have all these Tekken collections and, and you have PlayStation collections in your shelves. Proves that you're a defensive fanboy defending everything against what I said in the video. And there's no debate, there's nothing you can make in return to to prove why Tekken 8 will be the best. No, nothing. That's it. Tekken 8 will suck. And it's gonna be dead on rifle. And you're going to be like, oh, Mr. Kaito, you're right. Okay, you're damn right, but you should have listened to me in the beginning. Instead of being an idiot that buys everything off for PlayStation 5. I know PlayStation 5 will, PlayStation 5 fanboys will be buying this shit. And they're going to buy the DLC. They're going to buy the season pass. Fucking retards, dude. Quick kissing Bandai Namco's ass.